Hi! This video is about how not to design a spot welder for 18650 lithium-ion batteries and waste your money and time. For a few days, I was looking at some videos about DIY homemade spot welder which can be used to join lithium-ion batteries so I thought I should give a try to the methods and explain which is better and why. So, let's begin with the first one in which people have shown a DIY spot welder using a simple 12 volts battery. For this, you will need a handheld spot welder pen like the one I am showing you or you can design it by yourself, and a lot of tutorials are available for this. I bought this handheld spot welder pen online and it's pretty simple to assemble. At first glance, the design and finishing looks quite decent. This spot welder pen allows you to hold and press the tip for best spot welding experience. A pair of cable is also connected with a switch which allows you to customize your spot welder by including a relay and when you put pressure on the tip the switch inside this pen will close the circuit. You can see the push button switch attached near the tip of this pen. Also, these thick copper plates allow you to connect a powerful spot welder machine with it. The package also provides you a pair of extra springs which can be replaced with the ones attached near the tip. The tips usually come disassembled to avoid any damage to them during shipment and it's really easy to attach them to the pen. You will also get an L key tool to tighten the bolts on this pen. Let's now quickly assemble the pen with its pair of tips so we may move forward to the design of our spot welder machine. During assembling you have to carefully adjust the tips of this pen and make sure that they are aligned in parallel. Next, we need a pair of thick wires to join the pen with a 12 volt battery. A pair of ring and battery terminal connectors. Attach the pair of battery terminal connectors on one side of the wires and the ring connectors on the other end of the wire. Make sure to use the right tools and do not let any connection loose.
So finally, the wires are ready, and the connectors are attached. Here I will be using a 12 volt 9 ampere hour battery. I have fully charged this battery before this experiment, and we can make sure of it by measuring the voltage across its terminals. Now it's time to attach the wires with our spot welder pen. Again, it is important to tighten these joints properly to avoid heating of the wires and joints. Next, let's connect the spot welder pen with our 12 volt battery so we may test this method if it's really worth it to use it as a spot welder for lithium ion batteries. And as you can see the strip is not getting welded to our lithium ion battery, instead, this tool made a pair of holes on the strip and also damaged the surface of my battery. For proper welding, there should be current limiter along with a time delay circuit. Some people might be getting some good results, but most probably they are using an old 12-volt battery and without fully charging it. In my point of view, this method is not as good as the other ones that I will be showing you in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and see you later!